confidence, man, I mean, it starts from within. You have to you have to not care about what other people think. You have mm. to understand that you may make a mistake and it is okay. It's not the end of the world. You're not going to be fired the day of the gig because, oh, this chop didn't come out the way that I wanted it to come out or this groove doesn't sound as full. No, it's okay. You made a mistake. Go back to the drawing board, practice some more, figure out what it is. I do know that recording yourself definitely helps because then you can fix the things that you don't like about your own playing. Game film. But you no. not having confidence, honestly, I think it does stem from the insecurity because you care about what other people think. And when I say other people, I'm not referring to the fans. I'm talking about other drummers, people that play the instrument that you play. Because if you do post a video or if another drummer walks in, there is this thought in your mind of, man, I don't want to suck today because he knows what I'm trying to go for, or she knows what I'm trying to do. And if it doesn't come out right, they're probably laughing at me on the inside, which means you really care about what they think. Now, to a certain degree, yes, you don't want to be awful. You don't want to be completely trash. I get that. But I think for some people, they're taking it too far. Like, hey, don't care about, don't care about what they think, but you can care a little bit. Like if you're supposed to be playing a 4-4 groove, don't start playing 7-8. Yes, care right. about that. But other than that, caring that, hey, man, you know, my snare didn't come out as strong as I wanted it to. And you're probably going to think I sound weak and pathetic when I play. And I sound like a little kid. But no, I'm a grown-up, man. I can play drums so solid. It's like, bro, you're overthinking it. You're overthinking simply because of the way society teaches us to overthink about ourselves. Like, don't be secure. Don't be confident in yourself. It's like, nah, bump all that. Be confident. Be af don't be afraid to make mistakes because honestly, mistakes for me are the best teacher. When I get when I make mistakes, especially when I'm recording myself, it actually excites me because I love to learn. So when I watch myself back and see the things that I want to fix, I get motivated to go practice. Like, ooh, that was a mistake. That was terrible. I want to fix that. So mm -hmm. for me, I see it as motivation. Yeah, I don't know what it's like for other other drivers, but I. I so there's a couple thoughts that I was having while you were talking and with the question that you asked. For me, <clears throat> it starts with detaching the value that you have for yourself from being a drummer. Mm. You must find value in yourself outside of what you do. If mm. not, what you do will dictate how valuable you feel that day. Um, oh. For example, most of us as musicians, if we have a great gig, we're on cloud nine. We played great. People are patting us on the back. We feel like a million bucks. Mm -hmm. We played a terrible gig. Even if no one says anything to us, that can be even worse sometimes. Nobody <laughs> says anything. <laughs> have a bad gig. You know you bomb. It's not the other voices. It's the voice in your head that's beating you up that hurts the most. And mm -hmm. I'm talking from, I'm saying this because I know this from experience. And I messed up on the gig and he didn't say nothing to me for the rest of the, <laughs> the, rest of the week. Be honest with you, that gig, he, we just talked about it in the podcast. That gig he messed up on, it was at the end of the show. And it was the last hit, and he missed it. I went and sat in the car. No. Like, I couldn't even I couldn't face anybody. Hey, I was on beat. They were late to the week. Right. Everybody else was off. They was off. <laughs> but anyway, uh, my point is, the reason why you have to do that is so that when you do make a mistake on the drums, or if you do see someone that's way better than you when you thought you were good at the drums, it just means that you're not, good at the, you're not as good as you thought you were. Mm. But it doesn't mean that... that you have less value as a human being that you thought you had than you thought you had. When those two things are connected, then the value you feel you have as a person goes up and down, and then you begin to hate yourself mm. or you dislike yourself for whatever reasons. But if you can disassociate the value you have for yourself from what you do, then you can see a mistake that you've had and you can say, I just need to work on that. And you can work on that. Now, when it comes to confidence and how to have confidence, in my mind, I think that it's it's only fair to have confidence about things that you should be confident about, right? Like I'm confident that I can tie my shoe. I've tied my shoe a million times correctly and they don't come untied. And if they do come untied, that doesn't make me feel unconfident about tying my shoe. It just lets me know like, oh, I must have not paid attention that day. I've been tying my shoe for years. It works, right? Yeah, yeah. So here's my, I think that you can build your confidence this way. If you're not good at the drums and you know you're not good at the drums, you shouldn't be confident about playing the drums, about playing or uh, being a great drummer because you know you're not. Mm -hmm. But that's OK. What you should be is confident about your ability to get better. So if you can practice or if you've practiced and got better at anything, then you should be confident that you could get better. 
and then you take what you're you take what you're practicing and you take that and add and you start practicing and you get better, which builds your confidence even more in that ability to get better. And now that you are better, you're more confident at your drumming than you were before. And this thing is a cycle that continues to to feed itself until you are a great drummer. And then you have not only do you have the confidence in being a great drummer, you have a confidence of being better at anything that you're not great at. That's and right. because you're not attaching it to who, the value you have as a person, you're, you're going to be able to do it without hating yourself. It's going to be a more enjoyable process. You're going to be able to have more patience with yourself because you have love and care for yourself. But if you don't have that because you think that you're not valuable because you're not a good drummer, then you will have pain. You will be uh, uh, depressed. You will see. That's, that's psychological. It's all psychological. But see, when I was coming up, I, you know, I grew up in a time where the, the whole confidence thing and caring what other people think, it was kind of um, the environment I grew up in. Because when you go to school and you mess up, you get laughed at or you get talked about, you get joked about. And that just carries into your adulthood. And you start to worry about those things. It becomes psychological. Man, I don't want to look like an idiot in front of anybody. Sure. And so I, I some grew, people go the other route, and they don't, right? But I think but that if, if, if it starts at home, they, they got to do some. In my opinion, they got to do some soul searching. Sure, they got to do some self reflection yeah. to get to the place that you're talking about. As far as but that's I what, don't care, right? And that's why I'm talking about it. So because I think that this is some some of the things that I'm saying, a lot of people don't even realize. They don't even know that they have attached these two things together. They just know that they feel bad. <laughs> they don't know that. Uh, when they see someone who's really good and then they see themselves, they, for some reason, they think in their mind that they should be as good as that person is like, why am I not that good? Like, I, I thought I was good. This person is amazing. Or I've been playing for 20 years and I'm not that good. Cause that happens. You've been maintaining for 20 years, but they, but they don't know that they just know I've been playing for 20 years. This guy's been playing for seven and he's blazing me. Well, at the end of the day, you have to look at, yourself in a realistic way but if you can detach your value that you have for yourself as a human being from what you do as a drummer you can look at it honestly critique it get on the path to becoming a better musician if that's what you want and it'd be more enjoyable because you don't hate yourself 